Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in recognition of International Women's Day on March 8th to call attention to women around the world who have risked their personal safety and freedom to speak out for the rights of all women. And I am particularly inspired by the example of three brave Saudi women who have spent nearly two years imprisoned or under house arrest because of their fearless advocacy. These three women, Lujain al Hathlol, Nouf Abdulaziz, and Aman al Nafjan. They are outstanding examples of the many Saudi activists who bravely fought, fought to stop Saudi Arabia's male guardianship, fought to end its prohibition on women driving, and fought to open up female participation in elections and public office. And although the government ostensibly granted such freedoms in 2018, these three women continue to face different injustices, including torture or threats of murder and sexual violence, and limited access to family or legal representation. Lou Jane has been particularly targeted for her courageous leadership within this women's movement. Her selfless commitment has paved the way for crucial social reforms, but unfortunately, the Saudi government has attempted to undermine her contributions with politically motivated criminal charges, a lengthy <coughs> imprisonment, and inhumane abuse. This incredible woman deserves to be honored, not jailed, which is why I recently led several colleagues in nominating Lou Jane for the Nobel Peace Prize and will continue to advocate for her through the Tom Lam Lantos Human Rights Commission's Defending Freedoms Project. This Congress, we have already adopted a bipartisan resolution in the House to urge for the release of these women and other activists. And today, we call on Saudi Arabia once again to free these women and to lift the threat of their continued persecution. To maintain our international leadership, the United States has a moral obligation to uphold democratic principles. The President, the Secretary of State, and the entire Trump administration must increase its diplomatic pressure to demand the release of these women and hold the Saudi government accountable for its appalling disregard of human rights. As we recognize this International Women's Day, we are reminded to look beyond our borders, to continue to bring attention to the urgent and ongoing human rights violations that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is committing. I ask that all women and their allies throughout the United States and around the world, and all men, join me in standing with these amazing Saudi feminists and demanding that they be 